Hello, public television viewers. You're tuned in to one of my favorite programs of the year, one that represents more than anything what the practical means in practical sportsmen. Now, the essence of hunting and fishing is using what we take from the wild in a positive and beneficial way. And using fish and game for food is the ultimate in a practical benefit. Now, during the next hour, you'll see some delicious dishes, meet some terrific people, have a few laughs, and help public television at the same time. So stay tuned. We're going to get started in about 10 seconds. Well, right now, it's just John Ford behind the camera and myself here in the Practical Sportsman Cabin. You can see the map here where we do the guide report. This is the table where we eat those recipes every week. This is also where we videotape Big Buck Night. Two months ago, it's where we brought together contestants and judges for our annual Fish and Wild Game cook-off. Now, our judges are heavyweights when it comes to food. John McKenzie, owner of Coyle's Restaurant in Houghton Lake, knows about serving crowds. I mean, thousands of people every month. Charlie Keenan is a gourmet cook at home, and Pat McGuire owns Papa Bears in Luzerne. Now for the pre-contest briefing. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring both dishes out at the same time, and we're going to paw through it or whatever we end up doing, Look, looking at the ingredients. Uh, and I want you guys from your, from your culinary backgrounds and experience to, to judge the dishes on a variety of, of levels, but the creativity, the smell, the presentation, you know, and of course, how it tastes to you. So that's the way we're gonna do it. You guys can, can you know, relax, okay? Are you gonna relax? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I wanna eat. eat. I'm huh? ready to eat, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, I, one thing I wanna mention here, we do have a clean, brand new, out of the package tablecloth. And you judges will be judged by the end of the contest <laughs> to see how you retained the tablecloth and its integrity. And you get high marks if there's no debris, or high marks <laughs> if there's more debris. I'm expecting quite a bit of debris <laughs> on this tablecloth. As a matter of fact, it'll be interesting to see who is the neatest. Return okay. to coils. I'm doomed. You're doomed? I'm doomed. What, do, what do you want to start with? Fish? Well, Small game? No. Venison? Uh, I, hear we, you, I hear we have a baked bean recipe. That's right. It doesn't matter what you want. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to start uh, with chili and baked beans. Here's the chili recipe by Tim Major. Too many ingredients for you to write down in a short time. You're going to have to set your VCR so you can freeze frame it. We'll put it up again on the screen. Diana Thaler's Bess's Baked Beans will also be on the screen again. Or you can make a pledge to your local public TV station. Get the cookbook or our magazine. All of our TV recipes will appear in both. But now, let the cook-off begin. Okay, well, let's, let's take this, this chili here first. Tim, why don't you get in there and dish that up. Show the camera what's in it. What, what is in that, the oh, ingredients? Kidney beans, um, jalapeno peppers, um, onions. What sliced, about the... sliced tomatoes. Um, this should be venison, but it's well, ground sirloin now because I didn't get a deer this year. So. You you were pinch hitting. In fact, we got you at the last minute to bring this. Well, our, that's okay. Our chili man uh, couldn't make it. It's now you right. you've dished that out. Now what do you have here for condiments? I have other jalapeno peppers in right slices now, these or are, diced. These are fresh jalapenos. Yes. Oh yes, fresh. Okay. A lot of people. Yes. A lot of people use the, you know, the kind of... I cook the them. They're, they're in here, too. You'll see them mm -hmm. cooked in there also. Onions. Onions, sour cream, cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and blue cheese. Mm -hmm. And, and some what, what is this? This right is here? jalapeno again, only this is diced instead of being cut with the seeds in it. This okay. is seedless. You guys, put, put on top whatever of whatever you, you want wish. to put on top. Well, the first, it, the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try it. Okay. Uh, stand alone on its own. Okay, but now, now just a second. But before you really get into this, let's dish out your second bowl here with Diana sure. Thaler. Um, Diana, what, what, how about dishing this up for the guys? Don't forget your bread. Mm. You dish this up. And, mild. and uh, what is in these, these baked beans? Uh, baked beans, onions, uh, hot sausage. Hot sausage? What, what kind of hot sausage? Uh, Bob Evans. Hot just, just the Palino Bob Evans hot sausage mm -hmm. on the okay. That's marked comes, hot. Comes, yep, in comes in a roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, what's this Gildan's uh, mustard? It's just a mustard. It's a hot mustard. 
Does it have to be Gildan's mustard? No, no. It can be any kind. It's just that that kind happened to be oh, hotter you. than the rest. Okay. And then you put some hot pepper juice. My mother-in-law does um, cans hot peppers for me. And I started putting the, ju the juice in to make them hot enough for myself. And, mm -hmm. and, oh. um, and a little brown sugar. Just a little bit. Is. Not a lot. Okay. Well, this, Now, you guys start digging in. Tell me what you, what you think about this. Well, first of all, just sitting here, Fred, the aroma. The aroma from, from both of them. I mean, you can smell it like there's a dividing line right here. It is just great. You guys smell good. What do you think? Is that is that chili hot? It's got a bite to it. Definitely not boring. <laughs> it's not, it's boring. Oh, not boring. It's good. Oh, that's. I kind of wonder what each one of these yeah, items are going to do to it as you add them in. It's almost close to ahuya chili. You know, that stuff will really wake you up. Okay, Pat, a few Pat, fresh uh, Pat, you're trying the beans. Mm -hmm. Watch your beans. They're hot. The beans are hot? Hot, hot. Not hot, hot, hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> hot to the temperature, temperature hot. hot. Oh, temperature, is yes. that what you call it in the chef business? Hot. Yeah, hot. 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 Okay. Technical term. Very good. But those beans, I, I tasted those when Diana brought these by Ooh, the museum here really a little good. bit ago. Yeah. And to me, they were unusual for baked beans. Well, I'm going to yes. just straight. Quite unusual. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Mackenzie gets some more the hot oh, jalapeno, oh, fresh beans peppers. Oh, oh. Meal. Mm. If this doesn't bring tears to his eyes. Oh, it makes it a whole new one. It's really good. Oh, an, an empty bowl brings that tears to his eyes. That changes that. An empty bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and blue cheese. Jalapeno blue. Charlie has the, the beans. I've got the beans. I just went quiet. I, this is, this is, there's a lot of taste, there's a lot of flavor bursting out of this one right here. Beans mm. tend to, tend to burst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm downwind from them. Too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a, a deer camp. That is a nice recipe. Or? Well, I think it would be good at deer camp. It would probably start the uh, conversations rolling. <laughs> One of the things I found um, doing this over deer camp, you had to make a generic recipe, what? and then you and then Excuse you put, but well, you put things out like this so that everyone can do their own thing. I, you know, this amazes me. This man's a chef, and look what he's doing to the oh. chef. Every time you put something different in there, it changes. Let, put things out and let people dice it up the way they want. Boy, the things mm. you learn about people when you watch them do this. Mm. It's different every time, too. Really good and spicy. Well, these are a great winter afternoon meals. When you come in from outside mm -hmm. rabbit hunting or something, and, and you put these out, stick to your ribs. Just fantastic. Mm. When, when you look at the presentation, it's hard to make beans or chili. What are you going to do, right? These they, are both packed with flavor. But I mean, as far as how they look on a dish, it isn't like the other categories we have where you can really jazz them up. You put them in the bowl and I think it, beans huh? are beautiful. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> beans can be beans are people too. I think this you have to go by the sound <laughs> in about an hour. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay, now now what about uh, what is what, this? Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. John McKenzie there. has the first spot on the tablecloth. Charlie did that. He flicked so that over. Oh. <laughs> I saw him. <laughs> okay. The what about creativity on these dishes? I thought myself, you know, being I, I'm not a restaurateur, but I thought the the baked beans were unusual. I think they're very, very unusual. And and I, the, I'm a bean person too, you know. I know that. I'm a bean person from way back. I know Charlie's a bean person too. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid you, of. You know, the, the, <laughs> the hot sausage in there and the, the, it's, uh, the sweet flavor, the sugar and the mustards, um, that's, that, that's just a fantastic dish. I, I really like that. Okay, but now uh, let's take the chili. You seem to be really big on the chili. Chili is good. Basic chili, nice and spicy. It's not boring at all. And the different side dishes, when you put it in, just makes a different flavor every time. So what kind of consensus? You guys get together and say, wh which one, if you were going to serve one for deer camp, which one would it be? Well, I'd, I'd sumo wrestle for the beans myself. <laughs> That's what I would do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm with my company, I think that's that was suitable to say. <laughs> so you know which way I'm leaning. We're more of a belly bucking crowd. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, the chili is, 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 is a, has a wonderful flavor to it, uh, but the... Uh, uh, the beans, uh, the beans are tangy, and and, uh, and, and I could, I could, uh, I know I've got a lot of work left ahead of me tonight, but I could eat that whole pot of beans right there. So I, 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 th I, I believe I'm, you, I'm, Charlie. I'm going for the beans. I'll be darned. Charlie, How about that? Baked beans. Who would have ever guessed 
that in a wild game cook-off, something with baked beans, but because, why? Of it, I, I think it's the, the meat that's in there, and again, it's it, has, it has a sweet, unique flavor, yeah. You know, mixing meats and sugars, and most people don't do that. And venison yeah. and sausage, yeah. hot sausage. Excellent, excellent combination. Very interesting. Well, how about that? Tim, hey, come on over here. Oh, you know, sure. let's have a congratulations here Thank for this. Man. Round of applause for Thank the you. contestants here. Congratulations to Diane Thaler and to Tim Major for their award-winning recipes. The next category pits two veterans, Barbara Conklin, who usually enters a pheasant dish. This time, it's English venison braid against another veteran who usually wins in the fish category, Lois Bone. This time, she's entered a venison tip chunky chowder. Now, these two contestants know how to make a dish taste and look as good as it can. Well, Mr. McGuire, taking a look at Lois Bone's venison tip chunky chowder here. Look at that presentation. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I don't, I don't even want to eat it. I mean, it looks so pretty. I don't want to mess it up. Now that is, is what? That's carrots? Yeah, it's carrots. Things? Yeah, yeah, right. With a little toothpick in them? Yeah, it's good. Pure, very pretty. And uh, tomato. I've learned mm -hmm. that's tomato. Tomato rose. Yeah, tomato rose. Is that carrots in there? Jeez. Yeah, it's carrots. Sure hmm. it is. Now how sure much does is. this add to a dish? Well, in presentation, let's put it this way. From a family restaurant, this would be $1.75. At a very high-class hotel, this would be nineteen ninety-five. That's how much it adds. The presentation Indubitably, is... yes. I'll yeah. be darned. Sure does. So, $2 garnish. A $2 garnish? Look, I mean, just so delicate. The very thin carrot weed mm -hmm. like that. Someone really loved that dish to put it together like that. Okay, so the presentation, of course, uh, these two contestants here, Lois, Lois Bone, you know, we can take a look at him here, John, if you want to swing back up. These, these are two heavy hitters in years past. Barbara Conklin has always had award-winning pheasant recipes, right? That's been your category. Well, I had a venison recipe, too. My pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin. Ooh. But Lois Bone has always been notably with uh, walleye it. and fish. Yep. I think one year I had a duck or goose, but yeah, yeah, but that don't you've, count. You've, you've made no. your fame in that. So we thought we'd put you two versus each other with venison dishes. <laughs> and of course, you have your, your venison tip chunky chowder. Now, you want to pass that around, And this John? one, too, the thyme care. Now, that, that is called what she calls a venison braid. See, they laced each piece of the pie dough. Took a nice amount of time and care to make sure it looked just beautiful. I'm sure it's going to taste great, too. And all these, I'm sure, took a lot of effort, a lot of time. What, what, what is pretty this? that is? Those are rutabagas? These are rutabagas? No, it's oh, onion. These, that's a scallion. Onions. This one here is scallion also? Um, green onions and leeks, leeks. And then cucumber slices. Cucumbers, like a little rose. Yeah. You know what These. I thought? I thought those were paper. Can you see that? <laughs> Isn't that terrible? <laughs> oh. Beautiful little rose. <laughs> these, I thought these were just And it's just calling out to me, smell. Say, eat, eat me, it. eat me. You know, you, know just... you, you, you have a situation like this, and, and this coming to the table just uh, looks so elegant. Uh, you know, if they put that much time into the garnish, mm -hmm. that they've really had to work on the, uh, you know, on the dish, and are, are proud of what they're putting on the table. Well, how do you want to uh, attack this? Do you want to eat the, the venison tip first, and then go to the English braid? Yeah, let's do let's do this, and then we'll go to the braid. Okay. okay. So you can set that down. Funnel with salt. And since this we're going in the, the the venison tip over here, Lois. This one also. Can you can you smell it? The aroma. Oh, yeah. There's something in here. I'm trying to put that, my that I don't on recognize. It. Maybe with, with the taste. With a spice. Well, what could there be here, Lois? I don't see anything. Do here. I have to tell? Is it is it on this list? Mm. Uh, can what? you hold it a little further away? <laughs> you know, here, try these glasses. <laughs> these oh, have yeah. these have two lenses in oh, them, yeah. actually. Oh, and you man. see that? So I got good. I got it right up here. Um, I think it's the Adolf's meat marinade. If you want the truth, there's a lot of herbs in it. And uh, I, the flavor you taste, there's bay and thyme in, but part of that foreign is the meat marinade with mm. its herbs. I don't know what they are, but they're there. Did you see the way she pronounced thyme correctly? Indubitable. I think she's a professional yes. chef there. Yeah. Tell you what, when I saw both of them here together, I said, oh, no. I yeah. hope they're not going against each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this right here, and I don't know about you guys, but when I looked at this, I thought, stew, it's going to be a hearty dish. This isn't so hearty, is it? This is more delicate. A very delicate. Yeah, yeah. Venison. Nice, delicate yep. flavors. Very tender venison. Yep. Well, I must say, you eat it in such a delicate manner. <laughs> in I fact, do, I? from the last 
from the last category. That's that's <laughs> the bean category. That's the bean <laughs> category right here. And, and we have Mr. McKenzie has, has smeared the tablecloth with sour cream, as well as other spots. And we do have a spot under uh, Pat's plate. So you, you guys are doing well. Then there's some French bread to dab up your juice. They, they haven't seemed to go for that. Boy, I'll tell you, I'm doing a good job on my juice right now. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> yeah, that, this is very, very good. And you can taste, you can taste the mushroom. A lot of times, there's mushrooms on a dish, and they don't, they don't come out. You can taste the mushrooms here. Very well, good. they slice their chunk there, see? Nice big hunks of mushroom. Looks like Charlie's going to eat the toothpick. I hope not. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, gets, he gets spooning with reckless abandon. That's right. There's more there. He don't need to eat the toothpick. I'll Heimlich, yeah. <laughs> well, now you, you might, wanna... you might him like him, but <laughs> I tell you what, if he needs mouth to mouth, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so slow Sorry, down, Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> you know, because you're going to be in big trouble if you get some food stuff. This is this is one you can't stop. This is this is mm. this is very nice. We haven't we're not into that braid yet. Well, go ahead, get it, get into that. <clears> who, who, who wants to? I, I think volunteer. I think Mr. McKenzie should do that. First of all, he wants to set the. Uh, the venison tip chunky chowder over his sour really cream good. smear. Do it? Yeah. yeah. Looks really good. Could you take a little smaller piece and <laughs> save some for the rest of it? No, I can. Well, I think you oh. can. Okay, for that, this is yours. <laughs> Ooh. See? What is that? That's a raisin. Raisin? Oh. Really? Uh-oh, uh -oh, we're in trouble here, boy. Oh, yeah. Artichokes. Barbara, come over here. Let's Look at see. that. They're looking artichokes. You have artichokes in no, there? No, no, no. No? Uh, there's leeks. Oh, leeks. Leeks and mushrooms, and then it's got apples and... Oh, thanks. <laughs> green, uh, green cooking apples. Yes, uh-huh. And raisins, mm -hmm. and then it's got a, a nice flaky pastry for around the outside, so you have a lot of your four food groups. All in one dish. That Four food adds food. a lot of flavor well, to it, doesn't it? Just jumps bread. in there and throws in a twist. We got three of them. Look at him go. I love to see the size of the bites when they. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Leeks, eh? You don't usually accept the coils, huh? Not very often. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what do the leeks taste like? They're from the onion family. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I missed him at the reunion. Uh, <laughs> do you want to try that leek there? They were good. Actually, this is a scallion, I believe. Or a green onion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to try it? Sure. <clears throat> that was good. That was good? Looked like a spider, but it tasted good. <laughs> Charlie, do you want to hand him that, that leak there? I want to see it with John. <clears throat> He's not very familiar with it. Hey, Pat, are these leaks edible? Oh, of course. Aloha yeah. from Las Vegas. Right? Look no. at him. Yeah. yeah. Sure there. Okay. You, uh -huh. you look like a neat gentleman. Your teeth will turn blue, though. <laughs> you saw it's that. It leaked. <laughs> it did. <laughs> oh, man. But fortunately, the plate. Uh, hey, that would have been good. no problem on the blue tablecloth. That's true. Very good leak. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best leak you've had today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I took Come on that. over here, Lois. Let's let's, find, let's let's push these judges here to a to a decision. Now, how how can you compare these two dishes? I mean, one is a stew and one is a, a, a ground venison, but they're far different treatments of the same type of meat. Nodding isn't going to get it, guys. <laughs> well, we're going to have to talk here. Boy, I'm glad we're not voting. You we are voting. Consensus. Well, consensus. Well, I think I've got the idea of the day. What's yeah. that? Well, I've been doing this for about 10 minutes now, taking some of her juice. <laughs> and out of this. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. This, is, this I'm goes from you, basic to extreme, and there's just no way you can, you can say this is better than that. And uh, I tell you what, neither one's better than the other. And I would have to be honest to say they're both excellent. They're both great. This is the toughest one I've ever done in, in the many years I've been doing this. Is that right? Honest, honest to goodness, yes. Yep, and I want more, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, round of applause for Barbara Conklin, Lois Bone. Kind of thought this might happen.
If there were ever two cooks of Olympic gold medal ability, it was Lois Bone and Barbara Conklin. Now, we're halfway through the cook-off. The fish category and two mouth-watering duck recipes coming up, so stay tuned.